Hey guys, so welcome to sixth grade, chapter five, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So these are a little bit tricky. So we are going to go ahead and I'm gonna get started showing you the easiest way to do it. Not necessarily the common core way, but the easiest way, okay? So before we could just multiply and get the answer of what 50 or 75% of 54 is. Well, this is backwards. It's 75% of blank is 54, okay? So the math sentence is 54, 75% of, but we would write that as 54 equals, 54 is 75%, which is the decimal is 0.75 of is multiply and blank, okay? So in order for us to get the answer, we need to isolate it. By isolating it, we have to do the opposite of the number that's with it. So I'm dividing by 0.75. Now, that will let us cancel out that 0.75 and then we'll have our answer, okay? It, when we do the math on this side of the equal sign. Think of this as kind of a, our equal sign as kind of a, a seesaw, a teeter-totter. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, okay? Um, that's kind of the easiest way to explain it is, this is one side of the teeter-totter, this is the other side of the teeter-totter, okay? So whatever you do to this side, you gotta do to this side. I divided that by 0.75, I need to divide this by 0.75, so I wrote the math here, okay? Now, when you divide by a decimal, you cannot have a decimal outside of the box, so I had to move it twice, which means that I had to move this one twice, so I had to add two zeros, okay? So, okay, so 75, not gonna go into five, not gonna go into 54, okay? It will go into 540, it looks like the closest is gonna be 525, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. And that's 525. So when I subtract, okay, Zero can't take away five, so I'm gonna borrow one, making it 10. 10 take away five is five, and three take away two is one, okay? Now I'm gonna bring down that other zero, okay? Now 75 will go into 150 two times, okay? So two times 75 is 150, subtract it zero. So your answer up here, 72, okay? I know it's kind of rough. You'll get used to it and we'll make it work, okay? So that's number two. Pause, rewind, do whatever you need to do to go back and write your work in, okay? We are going to do number three, okay? This 12 is, so I'm gonna put the equal sign, 2%, so I'm gonna write 0 0.02 of multiplication blank, okay? So again, if I want to isolate this, then I need to do the opposite of this. Well, this is multiplication, so I need to divide by 0 0.02, which means on this side, I need to divide by 0 0.02, okay? So that allows me to have these two cancel out, and I'm just going to have the answer. So as soon as I do this math, okay? Now, I have to, when I'm dividing, I can't have a decimal outside the box, so I need to move it one, two times, okay? That leaves me with two outside the box, but where the decimal would be right here, I need to move it one, two times, which means that I need to put in two zeros, okay? All right, so now, two is not gonna go into one. Oh, but I am gonna put that decimal in right there, okay? Two is not going to go into one. Two will go into 12, six times. That is 12, take away zero, okay? Now, see those two zeros right there? This ended in a zero, so I'm just going to pop them up, okay? So 12 is 2% of 600. That's your answer, okay? So. Okay, now you guys are going to go ahead and do through 12. Okay, you totally can. Okay, 
using the exact same method I just did. All I did was write out the number sentence, okay? Did the opposite of what it was telling me right here. So we said times 0 0.02, I divided by. Did the same thing over here, divided by it. Divided by it, I had to move the decimal. So I did that on both of them. Then just divided. Then I got my answer. Okay. All right. We are going to go down and we're going to do number 13. Okay. It says, Michaela is hiking on a weekend camping trip. She walked six miles so far. This is 30% of the total distance. What is the total number of miles she will walk? So, six is 30%. Well, we'll write of blank, okay? So six, well, is point 30 of blank, okay? So now I'm going to divide by point 30, and I'm going to divide by point 30, really by point three, because I don't need to have a zero there if it's a decimal, okay? So now I have 0.3 into six, but I can't have a decimal on the outside. So I need to move it once, which means I need to move this one once, so I'm gonna add a zero. So now I'm gonna have three into 60, okay? So three goes into six twice, that gives me a six, subtract to zero. Now, since that ended in a zero, I'm just gonna take this zero and move it up. So 20, and it's in miles. Okay, all right. All right, a customer placed an order with a bakery for muffins. The baker has completed 37.5% of the order after baking 81 muffins. How many muffins did the customer order? So, okay, so 37.5, sorry, 81 equals 37.5% of blank, okay? So 81 equals point. 375 of blank. Okay? Doing okay. So now that's multiply. I'm going to divide, which really is all fractions are, okay, by point 0.375. So I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay? Now I have to move this decimal one, two, three times. One, two, three means I'm going to be adding in three zeros. Okay, so I don't happen to know my multiples of 375. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write them down over here after using my handy dandy calculator to find them. Okay. Okay, hopefully I don't need any more than that, okay? But let's see, okay? So 375 is not going to go into 8. It is also not going to go into 81. 810, though, 750. So that's 2 times 750 subtract. 0 take away 0, 0. 1 cannot take away 5, so I'm going to borrow 1, making it 11. 11 take away 5 is 60. Okay? So. 60 is smaller than 375. I can go ahead and bring down my other six, or sorry, my other zero. Okay. It looks like one is as many as I'm going to get on that one. Okay. So zero cannot take away five. Can't borrow from that one. Okay. Now that would make that a 10, but I need to borrow one. So now it's going to be a nine. So 10 take away five is five. Nine take away seven is two. And five take away three is two. 
Okay. 225 is smaller than 375, so I can bring down my other zero, and it looks like I'm going to have to do at least one more. So 375 times 6 is 2, 2, 5, 0, so 6. 2, 2, 5, 0, subtract 0. Okay, so 200. And 16 muffins. Okay, so 216 muffins. All right, now write down your work. It's important. You don't have to write down your multiples, they're not going to care about that, but you do need to write down this part and the division. Okay, all right, we're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. And we were going to go down to the final review. Okay. So, all right. This says on a coordinate grid. Okay. So, this is a plus plus quadrant. It's also quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Okay. This is the negative plus. This is the negative negative, and this is the positive negative, okay? So, negative, positive, negative, positive, quadrant two. Boom. Okay? I'm probably going to want you to... Quadrant two. Okay? Same thing. Okay? A box contains six cherry fruit juice, 15 peach fruit juice, and 12 plum fruit juice. Which two flavors are the ratio of 5 to 4? So, okay, 16 cherry, 12 plum, and oh, plum, and 15 peach. Okay, so let's see. 16 and 12. Let's do that one. Okay. So if I reduced those, um, probably by four. Okay. Four goes into 16 four times. Four goes into 12 three times. That's not going to work. Okay. I'm going to guess since it wants a five, that a 15 would probably go well. Okay. So let's try 15 and let's try 12. Both of those can be reduced by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that, okay? Three goes into 15 five times, three goes into 12. Oh, four times, there you go, five to four. So it's gonna be peach and plum. All right, during basketball season, Marisol made 19 out of 25 free throws. What percent of her free throws did Marisol make? Well, all you got to do for that is to divide. Oh, actually, we don't even have to do that. My bad. 19 out of 25. Well, in order to get 25 to 100, we multiplied it by 4. So let's multiply 19 by 4. And we'll know what percent. 4 times 9 is 36. Carry the 3. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. So 76. And we all know that as a decimal or a fraction. So fraction is 76 over 100. Decimal is 0.76. And percent, 76%. Okay, all right. Landon is earned, entering the science fair. He has a budget of $115. He spent 20% of the money on new materials. How much does he have left? Okay, so first of all, 100% of it minus the 20% he's already spent is gonna be 80, okay? So 80% of $115, okay? So we're gonna have 115 multiplied by point. I'm going to put point 0.8 because, well, here, I'll put point 0.80 for you just so that we've got that. Okay. 
but that zero I'm going to take off and put at the end. Okay, now eight times five is 40, so zero down, carry the four. Eight times one is eight plus four, 12, carry the one. Eight times one is eight plus one is nine, go in one, two, 92 dollars. Okay, is how much he has left to spend. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for chapter five. Come on back for chapter six. See you soon.